afternoon and hello from Koh Lanta Island here in Thailand. I'm here with my good friend Pika, say hello. We decided to come on a little two day mini break from my maxi break here to Koh Lanta to see what all the fuss is about. So from Onang, it's like a three hour mini bus ride which drives all the way onto the island. As usual, I've come suitably unprepared and haven't booked a hostel or any kind of accommodation, but I did just have a little look on Hostel World and found Funky Fish Hostel is the cheapest on the island. Since I'm already renting somewhere back in Onang and renting a scooter, it's good for me to keep an even tighter budget. I've applied liberally some Factor 30, so I'm ready to march with the Thai sun. We're gonna go find something to eat, find a beach. Just got myself a lovely bit, little veggie burger, which I'm very, very happy about because a lot of the time when you order a veggie burger here in Asia, well, you actually get a salad in the bun. Whilst it has got salad, it has got a definitive burger as well, so I'm very happy. National Park is... Welcome to Lanta. <laughs> walking on the beach for a grand total of approximately 15 minutes. We're thoroughly exhausted and it's time for another drink. Chug bee. Chug bee. <laughs> well, who'd have bloody thought it? I had a kickabout on the beach, much to Pika's happiness. She made me do it, I didn't want to do it at all. Following that, we've now got a tuk-tuk over to another part of Koh Lanta because we still- Ah, oh, pretty key! Hi! You're so cute! So fluffy! Let's take it. <laughs> We've now got a tuk-tuk over to another part of the island, a little bit further south, to a bar called Mushroom Bar. How are you feeling today, Pika? Okay. <laughs> <It's so good>. <laughs> <laughs> so we had a rather adventurous night last night. It ended up being somewhat of a late one, going to several different bars of varying levels of intoxication. But we did have a really good time. That was one thing that was consistent. I managed to get all the neon paint off us before <laughs> passing the hell out. This morning, however, there is no power on the island. It's gonna be that way all day. And so we woke up to a very, very hot room and very smelly because no electricity means no running water. No running water means no flushing. That means a room full of smelly shit. Now we're just going to get some food and decide what we want to do for the day. We don't have our passports with us because we already rent a bike in Onang. Renting a bike here is proving to be a little bit of a struggle, but we're going to see what we can do. Let's go explore this wonderful island. Why haven't you eaten your dinner, Pika? <laughs> I'm dying. <laughs> You're dying? So after a bit of a kerfuffle, we have now got a scooter. Neither of us has passports, so we had to leave a cash deposit. None of the cash points are working because the power's down, but we've sorted it. So we're having a spontaneous day. After we got the scooter, we just headed out in a random direction and ended up at the Koh Lanta Animal Welfare Center, which is number one attraction on TripAdvisor for Koh Lanta. But it's basically just a rescue and rehoming center for dogs and cats. So it was nice to go and see that and pay attention to the little special creatures of the island. It's also the only functional veterinary clinic on the island, so they're doing a really good job at looking after the animals over here. We ended up on the other Koh Lanta. Koh Lanta is actually two islands connected by a small bridge, but this one doesn't have an awful lot on it. Pika's just getting that gram, getting that Insta story. You know how it is?
disaster has well and truly struck. So we were just driving around on the other part of Koh Lanta across the bridge and the bike starts wobbling and shaking. It turned out it's got a flat tire. If you've never driven a bike with a flat tire before, it's not a lot of fun. And there's really nothing around here, so we struggled a little bit to find a garage to take it into, but the people are super helpful, so someone just pulled over and showed us where to go. Electricity's still off, so they can't replace the tire for another hour. So we are here taking shelter. I've got myself a nice papaya salad to occupy me while we wait for the electricity to come on. Well, after Pika's had two plates of food, she's still not full, so we just grabbed some snacks. still not back on so we can't pump up the tire after all and it's now doing this outside so it looks like we're not going anywhere for a while all right we've had the tires inner tube changed and pumped up for the low low price of 180 baht we made it back high five <laughs> Since we're now back in the hostel and can use the facilities of lights, electricity and aircon, I'm going to have a shower and brush my goddamn teeth because that has not happened today and it's really, really gross. Why are you wearing a helmet in the restaurant? I had to be safe. <laughs> Good morning from Pika and Xander's Colanta Adventure. I guess we're married now because everyone on this island thinks we are anyway. Fun fact. We were supposed to leave in about an hour's time. But we are staying now for another night. Wahey! All the minibuses were full, so if you're coming to Koh Lanta, think about when you're leaving Koh Lanta because we can't leave today. Last night, Pika accidentally passed out about, what was it, 11 or 12? So we didn't have a massively crazy night. It's nice today not waking up as hungover as I felt yesterday. First up onto Jay's. First stop on today's agenda, I only have a thick t-shirt with me which isn't very well planned because it's boiling hot. So I'm going to go get myself a trashy tourist vest, something like I love Koh Lanta. We are here in Koh Lanta's old town which is very, very quiet but very nice. It's very traditional looking and this is the spot we have chosen for some t-shirt shopping. Pika, what do you think of this one? I think it's so good. <laughs> but you don't like it? Colourful. Ooh, nice shiny bit, Pika. I am now the proud owner of this fabulous, authentic Thai elephant vest. See Pika struggle with this bike? I got not <laughs> Our fuel gauge doesn't work, and then we forgot that gasoline was a thing. Yesterday the Thai, today the fuel, but there is a restaurant just there, so we will be able to get gas, no problem shortly, but it's just hilarious how unprepared we are. Bye bye! Success, we have petrol, we can continue. We can do it. <laughs> we have found the terminal point of Koh Lanta, and it is this point right here. Unfortunately, I have no idea what the terminal point of Koh Lanta means, but we found it nonetheless. This poor scooter is having such a hard time taking two fatties up and down the hill. All right, we've been driving around the island pretty much non-stop since we got here almost. And we have ended up at this beach, which I think is called Klong Hin Beach. It's really, really lovely. Golden white sand, completely empty, which is a theme across a lot of Koh Lanta, but not empty to the point that it's boring. There is a lot of bars and restaurants and social activities and stuff to do here, so it's not, you know, silent, but when you come to the beaches, there's no one here. We are here at Koh Lanta National Park. Just the ride over was completely breathtaking, so I'm really excited to see what this place has to offer. The first thing we're gonna do is eat. Of course, Pika wants to eat again. We don't go 30 seconds without Pika wanting to eat. They don't call her two meals Pika for nothing. I got seafood salad and fried carob. I've gone for omelette and rice and a watermelon shake. 
There is a nature trail here which looks really, really cool, but it's 1.725 kilometers long and takes approximately two hours. Why is it that these nature trails always involve copious amounts of these tall steps? Oh my God. Why I insist on hiking in shorts where my bollocks are frequently popping out and flip-flops that do nothing in the way of foot support. I'll never know. But this is a pretty cool hike. We get to see the jungle. We get to feel like Lara Croft Tomb Raider. What are you eating, Pika? <laughs> Pika's just eating her dinner, but I didn't order anything because I'm still not hungry after the last mountain of food we ate. We're all showered, all clean, all refreshed after a little disco nap. We won't be having much of a disco as we have to get up at 8 o'clock tomorrow morning. Pika just got another plate of food. <laughs> she doesn't stop. Chug D. <laughs> Are you eating again? <laughs> what are you eating? <laughs> so guys, it is bright and early at 8.30 this morning. We are up and ready to leave Koh Lanta. Peak has to go to work this afternoon and I miss my guitar. But we have had a fantastic time. Koh Lanta is perfect if you like chilled beaches with hardly any people, cool bars and good company. If you did like this video, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Find my other social media down below and I will see you again soon. Goodbye.